Hi everybody, we're welcome back and we're going to jump right in again to a tutorial. On this we have uh, two layers, an upper layer, we're going to crack that and show the bottom layer. Um, just uh, add a layer of white. Got a brush, and this is like a spatter brush, you see the loose pattern. You probably have several splatter brushes in there and you could actually make them and find one on the, on the internet. You just want a loose pattern. Let's hit F5. Uh, make sure that the... Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. The shape dynamic, size jitter, angle is rotating, and that's about all we need for now. Let's start. So I'm going to imagine that this texture is going to be cracked near the bottom. And as we get further up, the cracks are going to be a little smaller. Okay, and so towards the bottom here, there's going to be some big areas. And the areas that you paint the darkest, eventually, are they going to be the ones where you, you kind of see clearly in, because we're going to we're going to uh, reduce the size of these cracks with a with a quick technique here so if you want some areas to really stay uh, uh, for the crack to remain to be able to see through to the brick or whatever underlying layer you want to make those areas a little darker like I'm doing here see those areas will kind of remain and some of the other ones will kind of wash away and become finer cracks let's turn that layer off real quick it's a little distracting okay so we've got some fine lines coming out here let's join a few of them. Sometimes joining them makes for some interesting uh, patterns later. Okay, this is actually an old technique, kind of revisited. And um, if it works, you know, I mean, it doesn't matter how old it is. And okay, so we've got this uh, basic uh, setup here. What we're going to do now is we're going to filter, blur, more. Now i got some of the details. If you hit control F a few times, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine or so and uh, that repeats the action then we're gonna go to a filter in here called maximum if you go to the maximum filter uh, it's kinda kinda average the uh, surrounding pixels in a certain way and it kinda constrains them a little bit you see what's happening okay and uh, we if these were bricks we could have followed the bricks or done different things to get slightly different patterns let's go to image adjustment levels and I'm just gonna pump this a little bit more there you go and then I'm gonna go to sharpen that a little bit filter sharpen more okay so I'm gonna go select all oh the selected already edit copy and we're gonna edit paste nope oh, darn it no I'm not I'm gonna create a mask <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself edit paste and something is showing through. You can see that the underlying layer has not been exposed uh, with this technique. Of course, it's not perfect. Uh, I, I noticed that I already had, uh, when I experimented, that I already left the uh, bevel and emboss on. So you could turn on the bevel and emboss. You could experiment with some of the, the settings in here to get sharper or less sharp uh, edges. You know, with you can also uh, toy with inner shadow, outer glow. Let me see, inner shadow, no. Let me try outer glow. Let's go to outer glow and let's quickly turn that into a dark layer. And instead of screen, let's uh, turn that into a multiplier or something like that. There, that'll enhance the edges a little bit. Okay, so there you go. That's one way to quickly, quickly crack it. Uh, a layer. Since we have surprisingly a few minutes, I'm gonna uh, just go on uh, with this for a second. Uh, go back to channels. These are techniques that I've showed you already. You could actually turn this off, but you're still on that layer. Let's get a different brush if we have time here. Let me get one with some fine detail. Let's see. Do I have? Okay. I don't have time to go digging, but let me just add a few cracks. You see what's happening here? It kind of in real time you're... oops I probably should have painted that out but anyhow I just want to give you the quick idea of what what this is doing. You can quickly take that texture and we're down to the last few seconds here. But If I turn this off really quick you can see what's happened. Okay and that was with our little mask here which you could even multiply pull down the color a little bit Filter blur if you want, and goodbye folks.